In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a clone of yourself using Final Cut Pro. Here comes one of me now. As you can see, it's a really cool effect. In fact, why not stop at one? Why don't we have another? How are you doing, Nick? I'm good, thanks. So, stay tuned as I show you, together with these two, how you can make clones of yourself. And what's even better, you can make them vanish anytime you want, just like that. So stay tuned and I'll show you how easy this effect is to make. So uh, open up Final Cut Pro and I've got a video sequence here which I filmed. And um, basically to do this clone effect, I filmed one uh, video sequence of me in different positions. Now you've got to make sure when you are in the alternative positions that there's no overlap. So you can see I'm sitting here. And I'm making sure I'm leaving enough of a gap between me in the um, second um, shot and where I was sitting before. And the same at the end. So uh, we'll bring that in. Let's just get this audio down a little bit. It was a little bit loud. And um, we want to cut up our video sequence using the blade tool. So we'll make a cut there. And then just before I walk on, we'll make another cut. And we can erase this. Then we'll scroll on just before I'm going to move. And we blade again and cut. And finally, again, just before I'm going to walk on. We make another cut there, remove this, and then it's just cleaning up the end of our video track there. Okay, so now we want to find the uh, locations where I walk in. So there's, there's me pointing saying there's the first one, so we'll drag this over here. Now Obviously, though, it's going to cover up. So what we want to do is crop this video frame using our crop tool, which can be found here, crop. And we want to trim. And we're going to trim the right-hand edge just to about there. And that's it. We're done. So now... You can see how easy that was, and um, there it is. Now, one thing you can notice a little bit here, though, is there is a um, there's a change in the background. You can see this very faint line here. We've got a very faint uh, a line. There's a slight difference in the color values between the two. We'll get rid of that. We'll clean that up later. Um, so let's just drag that up so it all matches up at the end. Now, finally, we want to find where the second one walks in. So we drag that into place. And again, we're going to want to use the crop tool to trim this. Trim the right hand. Uh, so we're going to trim the uh, the left hand edge this time. And we'll trim it to around here. Uh, if if we try and avoid these uh, flat white areas, it'll make uh, should make the um, the line a little less obvious. Um, so there we have it. That's base, the basic setup of how you, uh, how you make this cloning effect work. Um, so we've got some cleaning up to do. But the basics are there already. Now you can see here we're getting a... Um, let's close that. You see here we're getting a very obvious line on this one where there's a difference in the color. It's, it's uh, way too obvious. So um, we'll come over to our, our effects tools and we go to keying and we'll choose mask. 
And what we're going to do is um, drag over a mask onto there. You see now though, that kind of masks out everything. But uh, we go into our effects for the mask here. And we're going to drag these points around. We need to invert the mask. And we drag these points around until we get to a suitable location and then we just jack up the feathering here and you'll see that that will blend in together you see how the line disappears and it just nicely blends in as we increase that feathering so we'll do a hundred percent feathering there we'll just make sure that feathering doesn't get in the way you see my head comes over a little bit so we'll drag this back ever so slightly there and that gets rid of our harsh line uh, we can do exactly the same now down here we'll drag in our mask from our keying effects we invert the mask position it wherever we require to cover up that join, increase the feathering up to a hundred and there we go. That's basically it done. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, it's, it's a really cool effect. Um, I'm sure you can have a lot of fun with it. Um, so don't forget to like the video if you found it useful and follow my YouTube channel. And you can also find um, on my blog um, advice and tips on using Motion 5 and Final Cut Pro to create more cool video effects for your video projects. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in my next tutorial.